five time RMXP RNG. Yeah, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Like, at least 50% of the time, I always get five hit with those moves. I don't know if it's just RMXP. And I hate to be like that guy. I'm like, oh, I'm so unlucky. Blah, blah, blah. Like, trust me, I don't want to be unlucky. Have come. Hello, Liam. How's it going? Good. How are you? Doing all right. We're finishing up the game we were playing last night. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. So no items right here. What do you have to say? Have you seen a? Oh yes. Just the kind of person I was looking for. You got to help. Oh, I just God. saw some poor girl get kidnapped. What? Sweet Jesus. Sweet Jesus. Yeah, I know, you just came in the call and you're like, <laughs> and we got somebody being kidnapped already. Yes, yes, yes. I was just here doing a drawing when this cute girl walked by with a Persian, and this group of thugs came out of nowhere and grabbed her and her Persian. What? I didn't expect anything this bad to happen. Do you know which way they went? Yes, yes, yes. They weren't very smart and said quite loudly that they were going to take her to their base in Molly City. Please save her. Don't worry, I will. I guess I'm paying some thugs a visit in Molly City. Oh, well, in Molly City... Here we are. Okay, they have to be around here somewhere. I'll just look around. They are dumb enough to say where they were taking an Acer roll. It can't be that hard to follow their footprints. Some good logic there. Also, there's a uh, Pokemon who's Center. Who's Nanu? Nanu is a police officer in the Sun and Moon games from Ula Ula Island, I want to say. The Big Island. I don't know what the islands are named, but I think it's Ula Ula. Is let's... Oh, does this take place in Alola? Yes, it does. At least this part takes place in Alola, and like the the first two chapters or whatever take place in an island called Asa, which is just off of Alola. Okay. Uh, I think I taught my son to be too thankful. Thank you. A day without coffee. Well, that's just not a full day. Okay. Yes, the best items in the game. The best items in the game. Just Moo Milk is just the best item in... One. Ula Ula, yeah, he's the Kahuna. Oh yeah, I should probably say that. He is the Kahuna of Ula Ula Island. The best items in Pokemon. You can't argue with me about that. They're so good. Okay, well... We just wasted all of our money on lemonade, milk, and pop. So. I didn't even know those were items you could buy. Yeah, apparently special here. Oh, and we have no money to buy any Pokeballs. Well, I think we have three Pokemon already. I love to say there's so much shopping to do and so much food to eat. Money. The Mini Evoker. Hello, they call me the Mini Evoker because I can evoke the memories of your Pokemon. I'm the apprentice of the Evoker. One day I will become as famous as him. Let me guess. Uh, yes. Yes, please. Let me see. What can Charles learn? Um. Can learn Bite Fake Out? Okay. I think we will, uh, teach Fake Out to... Meowth here. Get rid of Taunt. Probably won't be using that too much. And we have Faint Attack instead of Bite. I think I'll add Bite just for the extra chance to, uh... Just for the extra chance to flinch, I guess. Though it's kind of a horse apiece, really. I believe they both have the same Hang on, I gotta mute. Alright. So we'll add Bite. Instead of Faint Attack. Right, 60, 60, yep. I mean, Faint Attack never misses, but... I'm sure we'll have some accuracy shenanigans here now that I've gotten rid of Fane Attack, but you know what? I have returned. Nice. Alright. And, please. Uh, what about Sableye? What can Sableye learn? Let's see. Leer, Scratch, Foresight, Nightshade, Astonish. I think Nightshade. I think we'll teach it Nightshade. Uh, we can get rid of of detect we will never be using detect i don't think so there's that 
and then finally we can teach it um or we can teach moves to croc rock um let's see here leer rage bite sand attack torment sand tomb assurance i wonder if Rock we have rock. a stab gr uh dark move we might um oh we, we only have mud slap okay um so we're gonna teach it sand tomb then and then I mean, maybe we'll get rid of an embargo for. Maybe we'll get rid of called embargo. Maybe we'll get rid of embargo for like sand attack or torment. Um, I guess that's kind of like an open slot though. Like, there's not really a good move, in my opinion, uh, for that last slot just yet, at least. Um, so I guess we, let's do, what does embargo do? Does it block, like, it block, it blocks items. <laughs> so not so, very good. That makes so much sense. Holy crap. <laughs> so not really useful in an in-game playthrough. I mean, unless you're facing like the champion or something like that, but. It's not of really a move that useful. blocks items would be called embargo. Yeah. Alright, come back anytime, sweet. Okay, we're finally out of the Pokemon Center. Um, I really got no reason to leave the city. Of course, there's always a reason to leave this leave the city. God dang it, you're gonna force me to talk to people? No I'm just uh oh that's cool. I saw some very strange whippersnappers around here. I'm not sure what they were up to, but they wore very strange clothes. Sounds like trouble. Let me guess, you're gonna block me from, yep. Okay, what about in here? Oh, is this like the Mala Mala or whatever shop? Oh, okay. Intense, intense Wendy old bag vibes. Remy, and if you don't Lenny. Know and if you don't know who Wendy Oldbag is, that just means you haven't played Ace Attorney. <laughs> yeah, I haven't. Being able to sit here and enjoy... Which is a shame, because it's a freaking amazing game. Yeah. Some some scary-looking guys at the recycling plant today, but as long as I stay here and eat, I should be fine. Guess I should go check that out. Sounds like it could be the people who captured Ace Arola. I'm so bored, I can only draw on these napkins for so long. Where is my food? <laughs> take that Kafka what uh, taking the kids out to dinner is hard so I'll let them play games at the table if they really want to ah the good old days anyway, isn't Kefka like just a character who has a very like ridiculous laugh that's all I know about him I have no idea who that is I'm gonna be honest Ke Kefka, I think the Kefka laugh was used in like Sonic.exe creepypasta game oh hmm <laughs> Interesting. All right. Um, the clothes and jewelry here are too expensive. Like, I was. If, I had if anyone, money. if anyone in the chat knows, please correct me if I'm wrong. Jewelry here is so beautiful. It shines brighter than a mini -er. I see. Can I help you, sir? Is there anything you would like to buy? Uh, no, thank you. I'm honestly not sure why I'm even here. Same. Well, what's in the back room? Oh, it's the changing room. Never mind. That was like where they keep all the expensive stuff, you know? What's in here? As they do in most stores. <laughs> yep. Living in Mali City is great. The beach, the sun, the shops, the food. Yeah, yeah, we get it. You have a nice life. Yikes. Uh, okay. Can't go in there. Normally that recycling plant does some pretty good stuff, but I haven't heard from them in a while. I tried to check up on them, but the people at the door just scared me off. Sounds like I might have to pay a, vi a visit. Hmm. The library has some good stuff on battle tactics as well as the history of Alola. How magical. Wait, the library's gonna have all the Easter eggs from for game jams and other games. And we got Shadow Claw as well. Very good move in my opinion. 
a move that we will be definitely taking advantage of. As all of our Pokemon can learn it. Well, um, we can definitely get rid of uh, Fury Swipe, so we won't be using that move. And we can also teach Shadow Claw to uh, Sableye, so we can have I a I don't know, the Fury Swipe seemed pretty good when it was being used against you. <laughs> okay, yeah, but like... I know, I know. You know. Ah, uh, do I get rid of Nightshade for Shadow Claw? It's kind of nice to have. Wait, no, we'll just get rid of Fury Swipes. There's no reason to have it. Also, why do Sableye and Army Alk literally have like the same exact move set? It's kind of weird. And also, oh, I did say we did have not. a. I did say we had an extra move slot on Croc Rock, so we'll, we'll just teach everyone Shadow Claw, because why not? Why not? I keep, forgetting, I keep forgetting TMs are infinite use now. Like, I'm so used to, like, Game Boy TMs. Yeah. Welcome to the Tourist Information Center. And, like, back when, back when HMs were a thing and those were the only multi-use machines. <laughs> yeah, it's way better this way, though. Not gonna lie. The tourist center gives me a nice place to rest in between jobs. All right, let's check the bookshelves here. These mag magazines show a bunch of local products made here. Okay. <laughs> this Mantine Surfing looks like it takes too much energy. True. Wow, a whole section on Malasadas. Oh, they're Malasadas, not Mala Mala. I, I think I called them Mala Mala or something. All right. Friggin' Mantine Surfing? <laughs> yeah. Need to know more. I need to know more. Huh, Alola sure has a lot of interesting a... culture. Okay. I know I know that's another Pokemon that's argued about its pronunciation, but they pronounce it Mantine in the anime, so that's how I'm gonna pronounce it. <laughs> I've heard it pronounced Mantine by literally everybody, so <laughs> The Great Vending Machine Mystery, I'll pass. Hmm, Polaris. Never heard of that one before. Hmm. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that's some character in a previous Tomix game. I don't remember which, though. Uh, a joke book. Let's give it a try. Why don't cows have feet? Because they lack toes. Wow. Looking at all these books makes me think <laughs> I should... How have I never heard that one before? <laughs> yeah, I haven't heard that one either. Looking at all these books makes me think I should try reading more. But nah, too much effort. Literally me. Though, like, actually... Some people make Too fun much. of me for reading all day, but it's just another hobby, isn't it? Would you like to read the book? Sure. The book reads, The empty sky broke asunder, a hole appearing where had been none. A single beast appeared from it. It was named the beast that calls the moon. The king of Alola bowed before it. The beast that stole all heaven's light. The island guardians fought against it, but in the end, they lost the fight. Then did the beast brings the dark cast... Then did the beast that brings the dark cast its pa pall on the line of kings. So would the beast that had one mark the path for such, for all such finished things. Beast of sun and beast of moon. Through their union they brought new life. A fragile heir and a Lolo born that island guardians would keep from strife. The ancient kings sang their, th their thanks for Lunala with the song of flute. Two tones rang out across the altar. A perfect pair even after mute. Their lot... Uh, there is a lot here on the royal bloodline of Alola. How do people read all this? The police ports are enough for me. Hmm, a book about how Alolan Meowth came about. That sounds fun. Nah. That actually does, that actually does sound slightly interesting. Yeah, it would be interesting. Okay, I'd read, actually... I'd, I'd read it. I'd read it. <laughs> actually, time to do our job as a police officer. You know. Oh, the plant's just right here. Okay, what's the item here? A max potion. Hmm, perhaps we'll need that. Okay, nothing else. What do you have to say? Uh -huh. Hey, cop man, I've seen some strange people going in and out of the recycling plant. Might be worth checking it out. Don't worry, I'm on it. Here, try out this machine that I totally invented. Please give credit to me and tell all your friends what an amazing scientist I am. You obtain an experience share. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. 
Actually, I'm probably gonna give me Oh wow, I've never seen that before. Who should I give the experience share? I feel like I'm gonna give Meowth the experience share, and we're just gonna battle with Croc Rock the whole time. I feel like we're just gonna end up solo running this section with Croc Rock. And here we are in the uh, recycling plant. Croc Rock the power is, that, plant. is that like uh, Crocodiles? Crocodiles pre evolution. Oh, pre evolution. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's Sandile, Croc Rock, Crocodile? Yes. You're not welcome in our domain. Please evacuate swiftly. Sorry, but that's just not going to happen. Oh, we have the, uh... <laughs> that theme. Krogunk. Okay. Team I don't Ultra like that you're fighting. Drums. Team Ultra Boost? Interesting team. Yeah. Alright, let's... Oh, we have Sand Tomb. That's right. We can use that. That's super effective. Please don't use Revenge. Okay. Didn't use Revenge. Jesus, that did no damage. Okay, one more sand tomb. Down goes the Krogunk. Alright, Ponyard is going to be the next one in again. Krogunk is full of dead. Oh, we missed sand tomb. Okay. One more sand tomb. And okay, that only does about half. Interesting. All right, one more sand tomb. Why do we keep missing sand tombs? What's its accuracy? Is it like 70 or something? Okay, we hit the next sand tomb. Okay, jeez. That's odd. Okay, well, we did buy a lot of healing items, so might as well use them. Uh, yeah, that's enough. That, for some reason, that, uh, that last Pokemon you were fighting, that just looked like a red crany dose with a blade on its head. I actually really like Ponyard and Bishop's design. I don't know why. I think they look super cool. Unrelated, I feel bad for you. I added Force Palm to Krogunk later, but it seems you didn't get it. Good thing you have revenge now. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, I was like, it seems odd that its moveset is, like, point. is it, like, Poison Sting, Taunt, Bane Attack, and, uh, like, Assurance or something like that. I don't know. It's fine. Good thing. It's, I'm glad I have Revenge now. Alright. Um, let's continue on. I don't really know where we're going. Okay, prepare for incoming loss. This was also one of my favorite themes as well. We lock guides prepare to fight my really crappy team. Banana. <laughs> Why do we keep missing Sandtomb? Pidgey Ekans and Magnemite. Oh god, it's Hyper Beam. Banana. <laughs> I love that parody. It's Pursuit, yeah. Oh my god, what did we just get hit by? We got hit by Metal Claw? In case you don't know what that was, uh, that was a parody of the original theme song titled Try to Catch a Few. Oh, yeah, yeah I've heard of that. Okay, let's switch into Sableye, I guess. Smooth McGroove, the, the man himself. Why does... Stop critting me. Please. I'm going to fake out you just so I can get some extra damage. That's a critical hit. Not to say different. Do you have, like, inner focus or something? What's going on? Are we gonna lose this battle or some shit? We, like, have to heal up Croc Croc now. Okay, let's... Fake out again, I guess. Oh! <laughs> I'm dumb. I'm really dumb. Okay, let's. Wait, what Screech? Why did it fail? Why did it fail? Because it wasn't the first turn I was in. First turn I was in, I healed. Well, I don't putting all that. of our hope in Croc Rock, I guess. I don't remember how that move works, so. 
because I am living under a... Oh, we get a crit, of course. A rock for Pokemon. All right. So there's that. Let's go ahead and grab this item. Thunderbolt! Can anybody learn Thunderbolt? I don't think so. I assume you don't keep your items when you change Meowth? Character. Yeah. Meowth can learn Thunderbolt. What? You know, I think I knew that regular Meowth could. No way. I refuse to believe that. But you know what? I'm not going to be mad that we got a Meowth knowing Thunderbolt. Pretty sure I'm actually... Let me, let me look this up. Also, Lux Diablo. Um... I might not have an episode of Parallax out tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be energized to record. Because I've started to like really not like recording after streaming. The one time I did it was kind of rough. So, and I haven't recorded tomorrow's well, streaming... episode of Parallax yet. So, Speaking from personal experience, streaming takes a lot out of you. Yeah. Also, yes, uh, Meowth can learn Thunderbolt, Thunder, and Shockwave. Just why? That makes or no reg sense. Regular Meowth. I should Yeah, that's yeah, all. yeah. I just... Uh, those were oh, added, I believe. It says that's, that's what it was as of, uh, Gen 6. Hmm. Don't worry about it. Uh, just as long as you're enjoying the game. Yeah, I'm enjoying the game. I want to play more, but I don't. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have the energy to uh, record a parallax episode. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow morning. Who knows? Although I don't really like recording in the morning either, so probably won't be happy. <laughs> what are you doing here? I don't know. What are you doing here? That's a very good question. What What am I doing? Yeah. Here? What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> How long were you like... in the college? You just joined. No, yeah, I just, just joined. Just joined. Oh, just that like, was I'm not, perfect. I'm not that was gonna, the perfect timing, too. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm not going to say anything because I know Kate doesn't have his notifications on. <laughs> Why do we keep missing Sandtomb? What actually is Sandtomb's accuracy? I swear to God. I swear it's 90. We've it's missed it 80. like four times already. And we've Wait, been what? playing this game. This is like our fourth battle. Uh, Helioptile. Helioptile is like cute one of the cutest little things there are a lot of cute wait. electric types <laughs> i mean yeah wait what crunch mist yeah you sand attack on us oh okay magnemite you know, you know maybe that's why can we hit a sand tomb we can does it have sturdy oh it has sturdy Oh, but again, <laughs> trapped by Santum, so doesn't matter. Goodbye, Magnemite. All right. That's actually probably the one time I've ever seen Santum's, you know, secondary effect actually be very useful. <laughs> yeah, it really doesn't do that much extra damage. All right. Let's... But it does... But it does one damage. <laughs> oh, there's and a bunch of different nuts. exits here. Oh, and there's a Nurse Joy back here. Okay. Reverse out of this place. What is that even supposed to mean? What is that supposed to mean? Hmm. Uh, turn around and leave. Oh, well, yeah. It's just a very odd way of uh, putting it, in my opinion. Okay. A Pokemon we can actually attack with the Dark type move LGM. Alright, Bronzor is the next Pokemon in here. I guess another Pokemon we can attack with Crunch. Almost takes yeah. it out here. Confuse Ray. I don't appreciate that. I'm gonna go into Save a Lie. This is probably like the second time I've used Save a Lie. I'm not really a fan of this thing. <laughs> not gonna lie. But dude, it has no weaknesses. <laughs> well, with fairy type it does, but. Well, yeah, but fairy type's not in this game. So... Yeah, it is. 
I'm pretty sure. Oh, it is? Pretty sure yeah, it this is. is a, this is a Lola, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so. A shiny stone. Oh, yes, thank you. Finally, a normal person. These strange people took me here and making me look after the Pokemon. I don't get what is going on. It's alright now. Don't worry. I'm busy, but once I'm done clearing these guys out, I'll guide you out safely. Thank you so much. In the meantime, do you want to rest? Yes. Thank you. Let me rest. Okay. Um, okay, nothing here. So. Let's continue on here. Oh. Okay, so there's two different exits. Most likely to this area. TM78 Bulldoze. Well, guess what I'm removing? <laughs> Guess uh, you're clearly what? gonna be removing crunch. Clearly. I mean. All right, we needs... get to see what it's. It's eighty-five percent accurate for Sant. Santoop's physical? What? You never knew that it was physical. It is. I swear, I remember it being special. <laughs> well, I mean, you're dropping rocks on people by probably Gosh. shaking the ground. So. No, Santoop. Rem yeah. Isn't They're... that just making like a, like conjuring a freaking sandstorm and just throwing it at them? I mean, I guess he, that's one way of doing it, but I have a feeling that a lot of these Pokemon are not really magical, so True. they're probably doing it with more physical methods. How I, I don't know. I mean, you know. Wait, Re wait. Remember when? Remember when every fire type move was special, including fire punch? <laughs> yes. I remember <laughs> even when Blaze Kick was special. <laughs> Wait, I'm pretty yeah, sure we just picked up a shiny stone, and if I remember correctly, it evolves into Chinchino when exposed to a shiny stone. So, we're gonna catch this thing. We are gonna catch this thing. And finally, really? Let's eliminate it. Really? You just put us to sleep? I don't have any <laughs> items like that. Come on now. Can't do, do that. Do you not have me. any berries that, um. No. Dang. Okay, well, it doesn't have skill on Link. That sucks. I was like, the thing I hated the most about, like, playing Pokemon Stadium <laughs> was, like, whenever I would get put to sleep. How many turns of sleep are you gonna be? Three. It looks like it, it looks like you're getting kind of unlucky with that sleep. You Every got time normally. I'm, oh time no! I'm you know what we're getting unlucky about? It's hit two sings in a row. What? Isn't it like sixty percent? It's sixty-five percent accurate. I'm pretty sure. In Pokemon terms, that means it's forty percent accurate, actually. But we got good wake up, so let's go ahead. It's down in the red. Which means we can throw a Pokeball at it, so hopefully we can catch this Minchino. One, two, three. There we go. Uh, let's not give a Minchino a nickname, so I haven't really nicknamed anything else. Oh, it has an item. What's its item? A Chesto Berry. Good to know. What are we looking like right now? Double slap, encore, swift, and sing. Interesting. Uh, pretty good nature for in-game as well. Oh, technician? That's pretty good. True, actually, that's pretty good. Especially I'm right now. I'm really debating. Yeah, we're going to uh, put the experience here on Manchino. I kind of actually want to use this thing. And then are we'll... you going to evolve it really, or? Wait a little bit. Let's take a look at uh, our good friend Minchino's move set real quick. Most likely a Gen 5 Pokemon here. Yeah, Gen yeah, I think it's Gen 5. Yeah, it was. So it should have a decent move set. Okay, so in one level it's going to get tail slapped. So we're going to uh, wait for that and then we'll evolve it. Okay. We'll evolve it when it gets to level 25. Okay. More trainers, more trainers. I do, in Caterade 5 fashion, I do want to battle every trainer. 
<laughs> Starmy. This could be scary. We'll see. Okay, it outspeeds us, but it goes for Swift, which crits and does half of my health. It doesn't matter, Crunchyo goes. But jeez. That's a lot of damage. No one? At all? I've heard it so many times Aww. now, dude. Yeah, I know. I've said it way too many times. <laughs> I try and save it for like one per episode, honestly. Or one per stream. So, call me out if I say that's a lot of damage again. Okay. Got it. Even so, one per stream is still a lot. I know. For, um, for this is such a stupid ass meme. But like, <laughs> it applies to Pokemon so well. That's the issue. How about a little more? <laughs> Alright. Let's heal up Croc Croc.